Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're new, and I hope you enjoy. Sitting on my roommate's lap again to see his reaction. Get off! What? Get off me now! What? I know what you're doing, this is for your shit TikToks, alright? Lara, you gotta stop doing this, they never do well, alright? Just stop doing it. But the reaction by his face, he looks like he's been through this a few times. She does this sort of thing for clout on the internet, but he had enough. He was like, nope, get off me, get away from me. She was probably genuinely shocked by his response as well. She probably doesn't get that often. I am doctor, here. not honey. I'm sorry? And I am Dr. McCaffrey and not honey. Appreciate it. You are Dr. McCaffrey? I am indeed. Would you be, rather I call you counselor, doctor, or anything else? How about Dr. McCaffrey, you? Your Honor? It creates a tone of respect. Where I'm from, you sort of got to earn that. Guess what? Where I'm from, you're born with it. Watch yourself, okay. Your Honor. Get out of my courtroom! Get out! A pleasure. Out. A pleasure. Out. She just couldn't handle that. He just proved his point. So she just got him out of there. On a date, and the guy asked me money for my meal before calling out a buy one, get one free voucher. <laughs> Yo, I'm out here with my new girlfriend. We just out here chilling on road day. I'm about to give her 10k right now. For real. Here you go, babe. Psych! Wasted. Wasted. Five guys in the friend zone? F*** them. They're called orbiters. We call those guys orbiters. They're orbiting around you, waiting to get at you. You gotta cut okay. them off too. So what's the difference? Uh. You think someone's gonna marry you with five guys in the friend zone? And let you keep those relationships and go to dinner with them and go to the gym with them. Of course she does. I think someone's gonna, a guy of value is gonna allow that. See, this is a problematic conversation because, yes, oh. I do. This girl's gonna have a hard time getting a serious relationship and full respect out of a high value man. She's dating a guy and she's got a bunch of other guys on the side who are trying to sleep with her. Shame on you, because you've got no respect for the man you're with. I'm pretty sure if it was the other way around, you would agree it's unacceptable. You ever meet a girl like this, guys? Just get a bunch of female friends and see how she acts. How can I take you serious when everyone has access to you? Every single person has access to you. How can I take you serious? You don't belong with me. You don't belong with me. And that's the reality of it. You just don't. Yes, um, New Year's resolution. Yeah. If I'm being, do you want me to be honest though? Yeah, come on. But is it PG though? Is it PG? Bro, keep it real, always. Oh, oh, oh. I need to stop f***ing my ex. <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell That's bro, my New Year's resolution. Nah, we've all been there, bro. We've all been there. Bro, I need to stop it. You're not getting none next year. 2023, we're going to start with good. With good stuff only. <laughs> she don't deserve the <laughs> She don't. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. You've got everything. To no, hide. no, no, no. But I don't it. hide nothing. Exactly. But you so have you, you, to hide you, that you get. Not. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't hide nothing. You got. You ain't got to stress about. Am I cheating? Am I cheating? Because I am. So you ain't got to stress about it. And you ain't got. It's not in the back of your mind thinking, is he cheating? Because that's the worst thing, the not knowing. Why don't you just stay single, never get in a relationship, or just have an open relationship? No, no, no. I will settle down eventually. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna cheat? Yeah. Not all the time. Like less. Is this a defense mechanism? Maybe you just don't want to get hurt. Oh no, not at all. I literally just couldn't give a At least this guy's just being honest and putting it out there. If you're a man with good status and you can offer a woman a lifestyle, there's a lot of women out there who are cool with it. But if you're a guy with no job, no money, you don't really do a lot and you're out here cheating on your, your missus and she's pregnant with your kid or something, it's wrong. What's your problem? Him. <laughs> really? Are you guys dating? No. Oh, why is he your problem? This is, this, this is one big problem. She's too loving. What's wrong with you? No, 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 let's hear, let's hear. Okay, how so, how so? I love love, and he doesn't. Can I say this? No, I can't say that. No, 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 you can, it's just us and a couple million people. Just yeah, say it. A couple million people. <laughs> that one day that I blew off on you? I mean, I still think I'm right in that scenario. <laughs> She's a morning person, I'm not. Love she comes to my apartment, 7 a.m., unannounced. Damn. And just comes into bed, good morning. Imagine you wake up and someone's opening your bedroom door. It was a loving surprise and it's Were me. you naked? I was about to be. This is a great, this is, doesn't what? sound like a problem. No. I think the moral of the story no. is you shouldn't date a 23 year old no. guy. See, this is just a case of she likes him more than he likes her. And she's been friend zoned. And a girl like that, he's not gonna want her showing up at his house, especially at seven o'clock in the morning, opening his door and just rocking up in bed. She's trying to progress the relationship but you don't want it. 
Do you consider it cheating if your girlfriend likes another guy's picture on Instagram? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Does she have to unfollow every guy? Yeah, yeah like, because I know she's going to be mad if I liked another girl picture. You feel yeah, me? So yeah. it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Yeah. Okay, so you like a little toxic. <laughs> I like how she said it goes both ways, but then calls him toxic. It's funny to me. So, guess my body count. Your body count? Yeah. Be honest. Infinite. <laughs> With that body. That infinite. damn body, girl. You infinite right now. <laughs> nah, not nah, for real, though. Like, you looking like, you looking like definitely 100%. 100? Yeah. Plus? 100 plus. <laughs> Dang. Mm, look at that thing right there. And hey, look at that. Mm. Come on, baby. And she can cook. And she can clean. I know, right? So move so I can finish. That's why she got that ring. That is not why I got that ring. I was going to get it anyway. Thank you very much. You're right. You're good in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> These two look like they've got a good relationship going. He's happy. She's happy. They're both having a laugh as well, which is always important. Put a finger down if you paid almost $400 to go see a guy that you've been talking to for about a month um, to spend a weekend with him in Sydney. And the night before you go, you have a bit of an argument and he says you need space and you don't talk to him for the whole day and you get really anxious and you want to cancel your flight and everything's telling you that you should cancel your flight. But you don't because you give him the benefit of the doubt and your friends say you shouldn't. So you don't and you go to Sydney and it's kind of weird because I'm there for three days and he planned nothing for us to do together. Um, and all we did was watch movies in bed and have sex. And then on the way home, you're kind of confused because you're like, what was the point of that weekend? Um, especially because he was like, I'm so excited to see you, but then chose to do nothing with you. Um, so you're kind of confused and you're like, do I actually like this guy or do I just like the attention? And as soon as you get home, he ignores you and ignores all your messages. And you give him the benefit of the doubt and you think that he's busy maybe. But then he tells you that he's taken the whole week off work. And you're like, okay, so you're not busy. You're at home. Um... And pretty much you decide because he's ignoring you. You're like, okay, I get the hint. And you write a big paragraph and you say how you feel and that we should probably cut things off. But you get a bit scared and worried and you're like, maybe he is busy. And you give him the benefit of the doubt again. So you don't send it and all you say is, hey, can we talk? And he replies with some stupid little thing. And then he sent, he, he hits you with the, um, I think we should part ways because we have different communication styles. Um, after you literally paid $400 to see him for a weekend and he did nothing for you. I fucking hate men. So you want to see stuff like this on TikTok? It just annoys the hell out of me. She's saying she hates men because she flew out to meet a guy. Things didn't work out, didn't go her way. Stuff like that happens all the time. 400 quid, it's not a deal breaker. There's plenty of men out there who have wasted much more than that and women who aren't interested in them either. Stop victimising yourself on your phone and making him out like he's a bad person. And now you're running him off saying you hate men. It's not a good look. Sim, saber, sound, saber, sound, make me wait, make me wait.